<laughs> now, you guys know Efren. Oh, let me pull out my jokes. Uh, a lot of people are here. Jim and Kay Allen are here, everybody. You guys know Jim and Kay Allen? Just sitting over there. You guys know them? Jim is here. Jim, uh, Jim is, uh, he loves wearing Angels gear, Angels fan gear. Not because he's a fan of the team, but just because he likes to cord color coordinate with his skin. Uh, all right? Jim is here. Uh, Damien's here. I saw Damien earlier, but then Isabel stood up in front of him, so I couldn't find him. Oh, there he is. Damien is here, everybody. Uh, um, uh, but but to, the, to the man of the honor, Ephraim, uh, you guys may not know, Ephraim used to take us to Dodger games a lot as a kid. Me and my brothers, we went to a lot of Dodger games. Uh, one time it was actually bobblehead night at Dodger Stadium. And it's kind of embarrassing because he got, he was so disappointed. He was yelling at Rayleigh, he was yelling like, these heads are supposed to be cartoonishly big and funny. These don't look cartoonishly big at all. We didn't have the heart to tell Ephraim that. No, they are, you're just used to looking at it. <laughs> I'm not saying even has a big head, but Jack and Box Corporation does send him royalty checks. Uh, Ephraim, um, hold on, let me see. Ephraim, uh, Ephraim, is, he's always been smart. He's been, he's the educator. He's always been smart his whole life. As a baby, he actually spoke his first word at nine months and finished it by the time he was a year old. <laughs> you better talk, you know he talks very slowly. <laughs> Why don't you stand up here so I can see you? Um, uh, Ephraim is, uh, he has strong Mexican roots, if you guys didn't know that. He's, uh, he's Mexican roots, born here in LA. Um, he's named after his father, which is a standard Mexican tradition. Um, also standard Mexican tradition, he's he enjoys hiking, crossing rivers, and, <laughs> and deserts with very little supplies. <laughs> that's, that's, that's his problem with him. Um, Ephraim likes naps so much, Napa Valley sends him royalty checks. <laughs> <laughs> if he were naps so long, so much, so many times a day that uh, the Grim Reaper hates him. He's more frustrated by, by him than uh, the, the, the invention of the defibrillator. <laughs> They're not all gems, everybody. Uh, my brother Andrew's here. Actually, Andrew, stand up. This is my, brother, my youngest brother, also Ephraim's nephew. Uh, Andrew's a, a big-time game, video game nerd. And uh, he's, he, uh, he's a big time video game nerd. And when people he learn that about him, they automatically think he's socially awkward and a bad dresser, lives at home with my parents. And it pisses me off because he doesn't even live at home with my parents. I don't want to use any good ones that Ephraim has. Uh, all right, that's good enough, guys. Uh, but. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these aren't appropriate. <laughs> Alright, so guys, real quick, give your attention to Ephraim. He's going to come up and tell us a little about ourselves, alright? Give up for Ephraim. <laughs> Don't mess up his pumpkin. <laughs> enjoy everybody being here. I'd like to say something about everybody, but, but I only have a few jokes. Uh, actually, they're not jokes. They're they're a very touch reality, very close, like my brother-in-law Mike. Mike worked as a cop for 25 years. Where is Mike? Wait, Mike. Where is Mike? Where Mike? Who cares? Mike. Who cares? Mike. Mike. <laughs> Pull it over. We all get that battle. It's all right. He recently retired because he said that he didn't like where he saw police work was headed. <clears throat> what? The unjust shooting, shootings, excessive force, police brutality. He said knowing that it could all be taped on anybody's <laughs> cell phone these days just took the joy out of Also, we know Mike, he's, he's close-minded. Close in fact, Donald Trump's campaign said for him to run in the primaries just so it would make Donald Trump more likable. 
And let's go back to Jim. Jim and Kay Ellen are here. Jim and Kay Ellen are here. Yeah. We've been friends for no longer than 25 years, I think. Just read what's written. <laughs> It's nice to have white friends, though. <laughs> Unless you're having a potluck. <laughs> Unless you're having a potluck. <laughs> Jim is so white, mayonnaise thinks he's gross. <laughs> My sister Diane is here. She is such a control freak. Oh, controller, I'm... Yeah, it's supposed to be Lorraine, but she left, sorry. <laughs> I mistake her for Grandma Josie backstage. God can be cruel, just look at my nephews. Spooky <laughs> left at it. My no sister comment. Sue is here with her family. I call her Goldilocks because she has three sons. One that is too big, one that is too small, and one that is just right. Guess who wrote these? Where's Jonah? Jonah is here. Sometimes I worry about Jonah as he grows up. Always anxious, physically incapable, socially awkward. I wonder, will he be okay as an adult? But then I get reassurance when I look at BJ, because he turned out all right. <laughs> Marcy was here, our little new niece. Marcy was here. Marcy drools so much that she's in a, when she's in a restaurant, they make her wear a yellow shirt that says, Caution, Piso Mojado. <laughs> her cheeks are so fat when she goes to the dentist, they make her pay for, pay for two dentist chairs. They make her pay for two dentists. So who else? Uh, there's so many to pick on here. <laughs> Uncle John, for example, doesn't have any hair, and doctors are astounded with his baldness. Not because he's bald, because, but because baldness is supposed to mean high testosterone levels. <laughs> so astounded. AJ is here. He started going to Brea boot camp because he suffers from body dysmorphia. <laughs> body dysmorphia is where a person has a false perception of their body and they think that their body is disgusting. AJ, you don't have body dysmorphia. No. <laughs> I get it. Get it? His body is disgusting. <laughs> Now to Sue. Where's my wife? My wife, Sue. After her victory over breast cancer, she got a tattoo of the breast cancer ribbon. She is very proud of it. But not as proud as the tattoo artist is for getting a tattoo to turn out so good on such old skin. <laughs> So thank you all of you for, for coming. This party is for you because you're. I, I am so happy to have you as friends and neighbors and Not family. <laughs> you just uh, make my my life so much more enriched. So thank you for being here. So I guess we're gonna have some cake. Thank you very much. Enjoy.